the competition, even the numbers. Let's go by. Up. Good luck to both. Strange Crawford. But uh, as the thing, you have that level that was too discouraged, Antoine. Teddy did. So I'm the level tonight. Well, he delivered. And you know what? Smith, his fourth fighter to Roberto Gonzalez. Perez and Steve, I know you were in particular. Yeah, very tough. The buff champ Crawford fought in a few more fights, a few more rounds. I, you know, he upset those fighters because he has a swagger and a, and a confidence about him. Bandits here early on against Crawford, the bigger guy. But Crawford delivers the right hand. Crawford's speed is, is superior. Died. Tonight it seems... Crawford faster, better combinations, cleaner punches. Crawford. Some really nice boxing by Crawford. Not only is he throwing a lot of shots, but he's changing angles. And it sounds like there's a little pop on those punches as well. Where Smith is pretty much getting a shot here or there. Crawford's going one, two, three. But they're not even tied. He said, he said stay still. I think Smith would be happy to be inside. A couple of body punches like that. He has a good sneaky defense about those. One thing Crawford told uh, maybe Smith telegraphs his shots a little bit. So maybe that working to Crawford goes his shots too wide. Get away with wide shots a little better. A number of them reaching. Fighters meeting Crawford mentioned that, you know, he hasn't had his opportunity. Teddy is going to take full advantage. We get to the final two. Zero for Crawford 2018. Now Mike, at least one more behind it, if not more. Yeah, he's a combination punch footwork as he's shown. He's slapping a little bit with his left, but he's in good shape. His distance. This round. And keep in mind, fight. And with that, you can see Henry. And there's Smith inside going to the body. Good to the body. And then back, and you can see that wealth getting larger and larger. Uh, Vander Holyfield when he fought Rockman. <laughs> oh, Get on the head. If I were in Smith's corner now, I'd be a little worried. We thought Smith would excel, and we excelled against Gutierrez last fight. He's having some success inside. Crawford need to get his hands up. Not much defense here in the final seconds. Know that Smith's corner. We'll take a definite look at that not over his head here. Jose Rubio is a, one of the national boxing team uh, trainers for for a long, long time. In the corner between, you never know what can happen in a boxing match. You got to prepare for everything. Excellent point. And you saw Smith slipped earlier in this round. Well, here come the combinations. Sometimes like Rockman's size, then before it gets too big. Before it gets too big. Well, Smith and Crawford. Beginning. Last couple of rounds. Well, he said it took him two rounds to warm up. Maybe he that he's been through. Just that, that will to persevere and, and fight on. That's where that's you know that both of these fighters understand the importance of this fight, and I would take that next step up. And well, they both are fighting like it tonight. That body sure hurt Crawford. Yeah. He'll lay in there with his hand very, very possibly. He's leaning on one another. Uh, you can hear Joe Ritter. Um, nothing to disown Smith coming back to take the next two. It looks as if wrestling. Good counter punch done by Smith. Sort of parallel habit he has. I don't love it. He's primarily a rapper. He's in some ways easy. From 11.30 in the morning, goes home for a nap, hits the gym the next night. Level with this. He's throwing pace at the first four rounds. has worn him down a little bit. Or it might be Antoine Smith. And as you pointed out, Crawford now. A couple of combinations from Antoine Smith. That Crawford... Through the combinations and the flurries earlier, he was connected. Now he's throwing them and really not making much contact. Well, you know, we'll see exactly what time. Between rounds, and as we listen to each corner, you can hear two decidedly different corners. Trying to get Crawford to get back to the style he had in the first two rounds here, Antonio. I just want to just take my hat off to both trainers. Uh, Julio, Jorge Rubio is a great trainer and also... 
Crawford. Crawford takes a shot and he's wobbled. Lost his footing. His hands are down on the ground. Looked like showboating looked like he was rocked by Smith. I agree with Antonio. I think he still doesn't look like he's got good balance right now. And his hands are down. Smith's trying to finish him off. Well, he might be a little rough like He is wobbling. Is Crawford. And there's a long way to go before the end of this round. Can't even get his hands up right now. Those might be those body punches taking their toe. And he's out of there. Yeah. Gerald Ritter, the referee, is still watching right now. Crawford barely able to defend himself, though. He's not moving. He's not holding. I don't know if Antoine keeps this pressure up. He may be able to score that knockout he's looking for. You can see, though, despite wobbling, Crawford's still going, but he can't defend himself. His hands are down. He should stop the fight. He's out of there. He's on Quill Street right now. This is unbelievable. Gerald Ritter is still watching it. Trying yeah. to give Crawford a chance, but Crawford is not able to defend himself. And why isn't he trying to hold a little bit? He's not even trying. He doesn't know where he is, maybe. His corner maybe should stop the fight. Someone should stop this fight. We don't want this kid getting hurt. It's over. And they let it continue. Taken away in this round. <laughs> I know you can barely get his hands up. Knockdown. He didn't put him on his butt, but both gloves touched the canvas. And then from here on in, he had no legs the rest of the round. This fight easily could have been stopped. It was not stopped. And then later in the round, you could see how defenseless Crawford is. He's not holding, he's not moving, and he's not punching. The fact that he made it out of this round, a miracle. Give him credit, but also question Gerald. Warned and warned him for and he was going to take a point. Not check him out of the 20 Smith. That last round, it seems as though something of a second win in that corner, but he's that deer in the headlights. Look, hand earlier in this Crawford, eight. but Antoine for some repeated big blows. He doesn't have the power to knock out a guy. Hey, he's coming back now, y'all. Crawford is coming. Impressive as he was in that last round. You think we try and come out and take advantage? If it's his favorite punch, it's his best punch. It's a head. They keep his hand up, especially. Got turned off. And he slowed down. His volume is punching slowed down. Well, now it's briefly. Maybe credit his trainer, Mikey Redskorowski, for knowing our referee able to defend himself. But nonetheless, here we are in the eighth round, and Crawford seems to be fresh. Tonight, I thought the fight should have been stopped. But you know, he made a fight. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would say so, but I, is he being too patient now? Chris shots, and he definitely has Smith landed a right hand. I, I don't know, you know, there was one knockdown round, the round six, and uh, after round two, I don't think Crawford has done much in this. It seems right. But it's still one punch at a time from Crawford. It's not successful in this fight. It's to beat Antoine Smith. Let's go. Time for Henry Crawford. Fighting into a ninth round in his career. And we didn't think a couple rounds ago that we would be here, but he is here and once again being aggressive like he was in the early rounds with the combinations. Crawford opened that his hands go in a combination. He's showing no ill effect since the early rounds. Well, I knew it wouldn't bother him. I mean, he's a tough cookie. And uh... Smith as a finisher leaves a lot to realize on what happened. Well, in particular in that sixth round when Jack Hammer. But I'm not a feather duster either. <laughs> but he knows that he does not have <laughs> been enough to topple, uh, to topple Crawford, but it, it didn't. He's standing toe to toe with Smith here in the night. He's doing the right things. He's coming forward. He's jabbing first. I can't. He felt like he was show, but I didn't know if he was hurt. Whoa! Oh, big right hand, and that's it. Three, five, six, seven. That's why. Thanks. Call by stopping that fight, but where is where is it that anywhere in the boxing commission that you can have a conversation with the ref? Because it was the end of the round. Watch them both fire right hands at the same time, and you see who landed. Very poignant moment in the corner there because Mikey Red said, "Yell to his fighter, do you want to go on? Do you want to go on?" And when Crawford. And oh! 